Hi, this is Dave Dirks, co-author of the book, The New Marketing Analytics. You know, recently I had submitted um, an article on uh, FinTech and its impact on community and smaller uh, banks, whether they're um, credit unions or small local or regional banks. And I had some insights that I provided in terms of, you know, some of my thoughts on terms of what some of these smaller uh, community-based banks would have to do in order to be able to deal with the coming onslaught of fintech or financial technology and its impact uh, on the, the local bank. And uh, the publisher sent me a note back and said, you know, look, we, uh, we publish a lot of insights on um, fintech. And as it turns out, we're, you know, we're really looking for fresh insights on fintech, which is fine. So no problem. But I thought about it and I said to myself, I said, you know, as I look across the local uh, small community based or regional uh, regionally based bank or credit union, um, a lot of them that I, that I see almost anywhere in the country or that I come in contact with, uh, many of them are struggling to deal with fintech um, one way or the other. And I don't think it's an idea. There's plenty of fresh insights out there on fintech in terms of what to do, uh, how to handle it, how to um, make sure that your business model, if you're a small or community-based bank, you know, your business model survives um, the fintech um, impact, um, which is universal because fintech doesn't own bank branches. It owns space. It owns relationships. So um, I was thinking about my article that was rejected, and I thought, you know what? The, the issue isn't fresh insights. The issue really is action and understanding why smaller uh, banks and credit unions have difficulties in really applying some um, real strategic vision to making sure that they are not left behind in the fintech revolution. And so uh, I looked around and said, well, why is that? Why is it that uh, banks are s often either s extremely slow to deal with it um, or apparently not dealing with it at all? There are two fundamental reasons that I see, and they're not all of the reasons, but there are two fundamental ones. One is I think you have to really take a look at um, the bank, the, the boards of these banks, Small community-based banks are kind of peculiar in the sense that they're usually well-grounded with very excellent people from the community, um, usually the founders and local business people who are on the banks. Um, and I have to tell you, I often think that there's a little bit of that, mm, I don't want to say it's small town, but it's sometimes it's small town mentality. It's like, you know, we kind of like the bank. It's been doing well for, you know, 50 years, 25 years, 100 years. And we really don't want to rock the boat. So I don't think board, uh, local bank boards, by and large, not all of them, but by and large, are proactive enough or have enough vision or enough courage to take on the risk that it takes to be able to deal with fintech. And I, I, often, I often think that uh, you can become so insular uh, that in, and so inward looking that you, it's very difficult for a lot of local bank boards to think outward. And these are, you know, these are bank boards. Uh, they're not located in mega cities. They're located out in, you know, in the country, out in uh, uh, suburban areas where they function very well. And they may still be doing very well. But eventually, I believe, fintech will start eating around the edges of their business and start drawing off more business as they become better, better at delivering banking services, traditional banking services, including investment services and loan services across uh, you know the internet, across the World Wide Web. That's item one. So if your bank board is really not that in tune with FinTech or is intimidated by it or just doesn't see the, the you know any of the value of it and still believes, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's just gonna be the handshake of the way we've done business that's gonna that's gonna keep us going. Okay. That's your strategy, that's fine. And I wish you all the best with that. I think it's going to be a little bit more of a blend uh, than uh, just staying the way you are. Second thing is investment. Uh, board, the amount of investment it takes over time for a small 
um, under, you know, I don't say undercapitalized, but where capital decisions are, you know, very important in the sense that there's usually just not a lot of capital available to fly around. And marketing isn't always the one that gets, you know, a lot of attention anyway. But as far as the fintech opportunity, which is a data opportunity for small local banks uh, to grow uh, their footprints beyond the geography that they have, um, the investment often is very intimidating. Um, or it, it's just not something that, uh, you know, uh, bank uh, officers uh, or bank boards are willing to undertake uh, because it's it's risk. Um, there's no guarantee that you're going your fintech um, opportunity, whether it's beefing up your, uh, you know, your online apps or whatever it is, or it's buying um, a, another company that has a, a strong online presence that you can adapt into your business model. Either way, it's going to require some investment. And so when it comes to, you know, deep pocket investments, wow, it's either you don't, either you have the capital or you don't. And if you do have the capital, a lot of bank boards and even bank presidents are very reluctant to stick their neck out and say, yeah, I recognize fintech is an issue or a challenge to us and that we've got to deal with it. But I'm not quite sure, you know, where even where to start investing, even if I was willing to invest. So that's my take on, you know, the whole idea of, you know, are there enough fresh insights on fintech? I think there are plenty of insights on fintech. And of course, there are always more. But the real challenge is execution. The real challenge at the local bank branch level and the credit union level is execution. And that's where it fails. So let's, I guess I'm going to have to write an article on how to execute fintech, how to take lessons learned from people that have actually done it um, and move forward. Anyway, those are my rants uh, for the day on this video clip. Um, if you'd like more information on marketing analytics, I ask you to take a look at the new marketing analytics, a book by my co-author my, and myself. You can check it out on Amazon.com or you can go on our website, www.newmarketinganalytics.com. This is Dave Dirks. Thank you for listening.